How's everyone doing today? I hope you're all having a magnificent day. Welcome back. My name is Eddie Matthews on this channel, on this website, it's called youtube.edu.uk.myspace.com. And today, we are taking a look at the Exactly Life 40 liter travel backpack. Okay then, so I just want to start this video off by saying thank you, big thank you, for over 200 subscribers now. So it's a huge milestone for me because 200 is a big number, it's bigger than 199, bigger than 198, bigger than 197, it is a big number for me, 200 is awesome, I think it's over 200 now, so thank you so much for 200 subscribers, that's amazing and awesome, I never thought I'd make it this far, um, I say that all the time because it's true. So. Uh, just again, huge thank you. Thank you to everybody that subscribes and supports. Really appreciate that. So, exactly life. 40 liter travel bag is what we're gonna talk about today. Okay, so here's the thing. I just wanna say this right off the top about this bag. Now, as you can see, this thing is pretty hefty. It's pretty big. It's very beautiful. It's a nice uh, green and like light blue. They also have it in a, a black color like the uh, 30 liter bag I did a review on. Check that out. Um, materials are probably like, wow, this looks, this looks great. And look, I am not one to compare, not yet at least, because I'm saving all my comparisons for a big comparison video, um, but I'm not one to compare a bag to another. I'm not one to say, hey, this bag is like this bag, only better or worse. But I feel like the best way to just, just this bag right off the top is if you like or know of the Nomadic 40 liter travel bag, this bag is very similar to that one, except this one's way better. <laughs> And again, I'm not one to say that. I like Nomadic. I have a lot of their products. We have a lot more to go through. You know, I've done their tech case and their 40 liter. I still have their travel backpack, a messenger bag. I've got a lot more from them. I like Nomadic. It's not an insult on Nomadic. I, in case someone's like a big Nomadic fan and gets in the comments and everything. They do, they do great. The 40 liter bag, as I said in my review, it's too rigid, it's too boxy. It's not my style. This is kind of the same thing, but kind of what you want from that design. A box shape a kind of rigid but it has a lot of flexibility in the materials to fit what you want also it's very comfortable with a, with a black panel that actually breathes and it's just made from materials that actually feel good instead of that rubbery tarpaulin that's why i like this thing so let's let's get into the specs of this bag okay so the base material is a 900d grs certified post-consumer recycled polyester. One of the things I love about Exactly Life, and one of the things I love that they're doing over at this company is almost everything they make is 100% recycled from recycled material or can be recycled in the future. Their water bottles are that way. Their clothing is that way. Their bags are that way. They do so much and they give back to so many different things. They have a huge water um, organization thing that they're like giving back to. They're going to other countries and putting up clean water towers, and everything like that. And it's just so amazing. I love those guys over there. Uh, Scott Pearson has just been phenomenal to work with. And I just, I love what this company is doing. I love what they're putting out. And uh, yeah, so their materials, is where I was going with that, are sourced and manufactured from 100% sustainable and renewable materials. The exterior is reinforced with TPU weather resistant coating, right? And YKK zippy zaps, zip zap, zippers, zippers, zippers for anyone that doesn't understand my weird lingo. All right, so this bag, for one, you got this nice like, rubberish material but not not too rigid um on the back panel here a little bit on the bottom if you can see and then on this top panel here and then the sides are the and look i said this about the 30 liter bag if you haven't checked out that review if you want if you want to check it out i'll link it up or whatever because that's a phenomenal daily carry bag i love that thing so much um said about this one i'll say it about the other one I, I, i've said about the other one i'll say it about this one the materials on these bags are killer feel good they're insane the interior the fleece lining that they got in here oh my magnificent so with that that is the specs of this bag right it's 40 to 45 liter capacity all right it's got uh you know the weather guard materials it's got ykk zips and it has got some 
magnificent grab handles. Two on the side and on the bottom, the bottom of this bag, right? So you got four spots and every single handle is exactly the same. This little bit of foam in there, nice webbing material, kind of like all handles, all four great points of access. And that also leads us into these straps, right? These straps are super comfy, all right? Well, you guys, you got some nice magnetic load lifting that doubles as a security measure. We'll get into that in a second. But that coupled with or compared with or partnered with uh, the way these straps, these foam, comfortable, breathable, really light, kind of thin, but just enough padding where they're not super uncomfortable. Now, with pretty much every bag, unless you have really solid hip straps, of course, this bag is going to hurt after you carry it for a while. Almost all bags do if they're heavy. This thing's pretty heavy right now. I carried it around. And yeah, after a while, it, it did start to hurt because that's kind of what happens when you wear a bag for a while when it's heavy. But for the most part, the general use of this bag, these straps, these handles, using the zips, just zipping and unzipping this bag, they all are smooth, well-oiled machine. And I love that. As well as this back panel, that has a little bit of breathability to it, which is one of the biggest problems I have with some of these bags that just have like a flat tarpaulin uh, material on the back, kind of like the Baboon or, or, or the Nomadic. You know, it's just that, that straight tarpaulin material on your back and then you start to get hot and start to sweat. It's uncomfortable. It's just no good. So this, this I think, is an improvement on that. I like that. I like this nice back panel, which is also where your laptop goes, so it's not like super uncomfortable, which I really like that as well appreciate that exactly life other thing i want to note is logos right so you've got this nice cool little x here on the top or on the bottom bottom of the bag and then you've got their x again on their pop out charger and then on this you've got the exactly right so logos on this thing pretty cool and then up top you got this little guy right you see that there's a kind of like a USB, that is because it's a portable charger bag. Right, and I said this before when I did the other Exactly Life bag. And uh, I'll say it again, a lot of bags that have the built-in portable chargers, right, that like have this cable pass through that hooks up, hook up a power bank to it, and you can plug in your cord right here, and it's a lot of those techie chargeable batteries inside the backpack bags, I hate them. I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I'll be completely transparent for a second. Don't like those bags i think they all look bad i think they all function terribly i think the battery is bull crap i think they don't last very long i don't think the bag functions very well i think they try to sell it on that one point and that one point alone and my experience with the ones i've used have been really crappy this bag and the other bag however take all of that and condense it down to like what's the bare minimum you need if you're going to have a bag that could charge your phone how could we incorporate that without it being tacky and over complicated and they did that perfectly which we're going to get into that right now let's go ahead and go through this whole whole shebang whole kebab whole shish kebab right okay so one thing that i really like about this bag i want to get into first before we go through this top compartment are these side compartments right these things are long this whole color that you see here is the whole side this whole thing is a compartment now this side is the water bottle now I have a 30 something ounce water bottle from Exactly Life in here. This thing is a monster. You see that? Look at that. The thing is huge. This thing is massive, all right? I mean, it is It is bigger than my Wandered one. It's bigger than the other Exactly Life one I have. It's bigger than my Camelback shoot I used to have, right? And it fits right in this side <laughs> compartment. Now, this does bulge out because it is a big water bottle. I don't know if you can kind of see right here it does bulge out a little bit but it's a big water bottle the other water bottle fits in here very nicely as well and this whole pocket and even has like a little little mesh bit up here as well if you wanted to so you've got your nice long water bottle pocket right and it zips all the way down look at that and then you have a nice spot for your water bottle and you can see behind the water bottle is this and this kind of helps it indent a little bit more into the back. So this does take up a little bit of space inside the bag. But as far as a water bottle pocket goes, this thing is awesome. And here, real quick, because I have it handy, here's my Wandered Hydro Flask. You know, that obviously 
if it's gonna fit this if you go on the website and you see how big this thing is it's like 30 something ounces. i don't know the exact measurement you're gonna be like okay yeah that's obviously gonna fit my my water bottle i mean this thing <laughs> is massive i love that a big water bottle pocket yes yes that's what i'm talking about not one that's like crappy and made out of mesh like this is what this is it this is what you need you need a big water bottle pocket because some of us are big drinkers you know who you are you, you big drinkers you know you know what i'm saying so i love that i absolutely love that you know you don't get a lot of big water bottle pockets on bags and i think that's awesome i love that they did that they're like what well, if we just take the whole side of the bag and, and make a water bottle pocket and they were like yeah okay let's do that let's, let's see what happens i love it absolutely love it um some people aren't gonna love how big it is if you have a big water bottle because like i said it does bulge out but i love it i get a 32 ounce water bottle perfect not for me not to fill up my dog's bowl when we're traveling it's, it's perfect and then on the other side here you got the same kind of compartment unzips all the way and it opens to the organization now i didn't put anything in here because this bag carries a lot of stuff and it does it really well and i kind of ran out of things to put in this bag on a daily carry or that i'd put with travel that would go in these pockets so i apologize there's nothing in them but these mesh pockets are all fairly deep and then on this door here you have a zip zap zippity zoo mesh right so you've got all of these pockets right here and you got that nice nice fleece a comfy fleece so you can put a pair of sunglasses right here i think i already have a pair of sunglasses somewhere in this bag um but you could put a pair of sunglasses in any of these pockets and it would fit perfectly you also have a spot up top for them so i love 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 this nice side organization done right done right dimension done right you know what i mean you know what i'm saying all my dimension heads i don't know that's the thing okay then we move into the feature that some people are gonna be like i really like that i was one of them and some people are gonna be like i'm not so sure about that and that's these magnetic clips right these magnetic clips hide the zipper right for the top pocket and they right they magnetic down there so if you undo this right and you could even leave this whole thing unzipped right you could leave this whole thing unzipped and just have this and i'm your stuff it's not gonna it's not gonna go anywhere you know i mean i don't know if you're on like a roller coaster or something but you could do that to have this be like a quick access type of pocket and i apologize this bag is kind of tall so you can see right you got the top organization right here okay i've got a pair of sunglasses like i said in one of these nice little mesh pockets right here i've got some of my duke cannon cold shower field towels i just like to travel with those in case it gets sweaty and then here is where that exactly like portable charger right if you unzip this top part there's a cable pass through right here right and you can plug it into this and then that gives you power to the little top compartment right here all right so that is how that power integration system works it's very simple you know you just put your battery pack and it could be literally any battery pack it doesn't even have to be an exactly live one and then you just would plug this in or you can leave it and use this back zippered pocket for your own kind of storage right so you got that right there great organization up here two little mesh bits and then bit and a bit and a zip 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 right so great organization on the top part of this bag and then on the inside there's more right it's deep i put this notebook this whole wander notebook back there this whole thing is that nice fleece right so you got this nice big compartment man i mean you can put tons of stuff in there and that's why i was able to put the wander notebook and just a few other little items up there but absolutely perfect big killer quick access if you wanted to leave it on zip because like i said you could just keep it like that or you could do the double security and zip it and have these on there i think it works perfectly i love it i really do i think that's a really cool feature the only thing is i typically would leave it unzipped because i feel like this is enough security for me and i can actually even while it's like clipped i could even get in and grab you know if my notebook was in there right i'm waiting on my plane or whatever I'm just be like oh you know what i'm just gonna I'm just gonna grab my notebook out okay yeah i'm gonna plan my next video oh wait i don't write scripts so 
Throw it in the bin. Anyways, right, so that is the top compartment for this bag. Okay, we're gonna leave this unzipped for the time being. And we're gonna move into the laptop compartment because it is a part of the clamshell, or not clamshell, it's just got a big compartment opening. All right, so this zipper right here opens up this little compartment and 15 inch laptop sleeve right there up against your back and a little bit of rigidity now in some cases if it's not done right you would complain that this is uncomfortable up against your back this is one of those cases where i think it's done right it's lifted up off the bottom of the bag so you have to worry about damaging your laptop it's padded enough in here i'm not too worried if i throw the bag down on the face of the bag definitely nothing's gonna happen I would not throw it straps down because there's not that's not that's there's nothing really between your laptop and the ground at that point but overall it's a very easy pocket to get into here's the caveat that I kind of have with this bag that maybe you will as well and that's if you need to get your laptop but you have this right then it can become tedious if you're one of those people that are constantly getting into your laptop well, then you're constantly gonna be doing this and then zipping and then putting it back. Depends on how much you get into your laptop compartment. I, when I travel, I'm not getting my laptop compartment at all. I don't use my laptop on the plane, I don't use it in the airport. Everything I try to do, I do it for my iPad or I just don't do it because you should not watch movies or TV shows or something because it's a flight and that's killing the time. Um, I did not throw my iPad in here. I had it up here at one point, but then I was using it and forgot to put it back in the bag before I started recording. So that's, the, there's no, uh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Thanks for reminding me. There's no tablet sleeve in here. It's just a uh, laptop sleeve, right? That's all you, that's all she wrote on this one. Okay. So that can be a caveat, a bummer for some people is that you have to constantly undo these magnetic straps in order to get into your laptop compartment. Other thing it's under these magnetic strips, strips, straps for is to get into the main compartment. The main compartment is a big wide mouth opening you know what i apologize i just realized i never put this bag on i want to do that before it gets emptied apologize in advance here we go throwing it on yeah here we go oh, there we go all right all right so i am roughly 5 8 165 ish pounds and this is the bag on me. Now, I think this is a pretty good looking bag. Uh, it's a big box, you know? I mean, it's it's not much smaller than, or it's not, it's the, pretty much the, roughly the same size as a lot of bags we've covered so far, like the Peak, or the Baboon, or Wandered, or Nomadic, you know? It's, it's or the Topo. It, it looks bigger, but it's not. And then you got this sternum strap right here, right? And it is, it's a good bag. It's comfortable. It's a comfortable bag. I know I already said that when I was talking about the straps, but I want to reiterate that it's a very comfortable bag. So if you're worried about uncomfortableness in the straps, you don't got to with this bag. So that is that. Now we can get into the inside of this bag. Another quick note why I'm opening this is those load lifters with magnetic straps, they do work. I know it doesn't look like they do very much because you can't adjust them or anything, but I found them to be very, very, very useful. Um, another quick note that I just realized I didn't mention is there is a spot right here where you can do headphones and it goes up into this top compartment so you have your headphones just dangle off your bag and your phone would be in your bag if you wanted to do it that way like going through security and stuff okay grand finale uh sort of i guess i don't know here we go opening the bag plop big plop and a lot of space in here all right so what i have is I have an Exactly Life um, sweatshirt, which I threw in here to show you. It says, find your journey. Ooh. And it's very pretty, I think. So they sell these awesome hoodies, super comfortable, super warm. I um, have another one that says just Exactly Life on it or Exactly on it. Um, super comfortable, super comfortable hoodies. Really, really dig them, digging them. And then what I have in here, I will show you my best. I think it's probably gonna come tumbling out, but you know, I have my normal loadout. I have a big, brought a big toiletry kit, right? Big one. Put through my Sennheiser. Haven't made an appearance in a while. Sennheiser PX550, noise canceling, Bluetooth, wireless headphones. 
That's what Bluetooth is, wireless. I think, is Bluetooth wireless? Can you have something that's wired and be Bluetooth? I think you can, I don't really know. I guess wired head, but that's, you know, like, you don't have something, it doesn't matter. Uh, then I have both my Peak Design packing cubes completely packed out and compressed, right? Both of these are in here, and then I have a Peak Design field pouch for my tech. And that's it, but look how much space is in this thing, right? I mean, there's a lot in here. You know, I mean, this is what a normal loadout for me looks like. You know, I'll put this in any other bag and it'll pack it out. I still had room in this thing. Reason I didn't put more in is because it was heavy. It was already heavy with this loadout because my normal loadout can be typically kind of heavy. All right, so you get that wide, wide chasm, right? And then there's a couple internal organization bits. Not on this side, this is that water bottle I was talking about, that water bottle, like, little garage thing that it has. But on this side, you do get a nice little zipper guy. Nice little, little zip, 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 zip. Right, just a little, little zip. You can put some stuff in. If you wanted to, you could put some stuff in there, right? And that's it. I mean, when it comes to the main compartment, it's just a big compartment, man. Like it is just perfect for throwing a bunch of stuff in and, and knowing it's gonna get you from point A to point B. Uh, like I said, I've got, I, I traveled with both my Peak Design Packing Cubes one full of uh, t-shirts and, sh and shirts or t-shirts are shirts t-shirts and pants and the other one full of personal items and like gym clothing which is this one and it looks light because it is light i, I pack super light you know and this is three pairs of pants and five shirts and then the design field pouch was in there and then like i said this big this big big k25 los angeles uh poetry kit and that's all you really need to put in this thing because overall, even when the bag is, and here's the bag kind of, you know, it's just, here, here it is. There it is, man. Look, I like this company a lot because I like what they're doing for the environment. I like what they stand for. I like what they're, I like what they're making. I like the products that they're, they're pooping out over there. Um, that makes them sound like they're covered in poop, but they're good. They're pooping good stuff. It's like when you have a, a good poop, I don't know. I don't know. Um, so the 40 to 45 liter travel bag is awesome. I really, really dig it. Um, I think it's a great addition to any bag man's arsenal. I think it is, it, it is good. It's a good bag. It, it'll hold its own. Like I said, it's like the nomadic travel bag, but honestly, in my opinion, a little bit better. Um, I think it improves on the things that that bag tried to be. I don't have the version two, so I could be wrong. I only had the version one. This thing, it competes with other travel bags. Absolutely. For a brand that I don't think enough people know about how these guys are making these bags over there and and the things they're producing and and everything like that these are some killer killer bags man um i encourage you to check out my other review on the 30 to 35 liter bag as a daily carry i love that thing i think it's awesome same kind of materials came same kind of loadout with the charging system i think this one does a really really good job though of being a good travel bag you know and that's, that's, that's what you're looking for, you know? That's what we're all looking for. We're all looking for that bag that's gonna be that bag. You know, I had um, uh, someone from Belgium, you know, you know, talk to me about the Arant pack and you know, it's, it's the bag for EDC for them now, or they're getting it for their brother. And they were like, I think it could be the bag for them. And I was like, yeah, absolutely, man. It's a great bag. Um, and a guy from Australia asked me about the Prima system, you know, um, when people ask me about things, uh, I had someone ask me about the Pact one compared to the Baboon, you know, because you're trying to find that bag. And it sounds weird because when I talk to people and they're like, you do, you do YouTube videos. And I'm like, yeah, I had to, uh, do like bag reviews. And I'm like, Whoa, what? That's so weird. And I'm like, yeah, no, it's, it's definitely weird, but it makes me happy, you know, cause Part of why I do this is it makes me happy when I get those comments like, hey, what do you think about this? Hey, what about that? This compared to that. You know, I love those comments because it's my chance to help and I love helping, you know? It's one of the things that brings me a lot of joy and happiness and that's what we're all striving for, right? We're all striving to kind of find that happiness, you know, whatever it may be, you know, you find that and you use it and you hold on to it and you embrace it, you know? Because that's what happiness is. Happiness is something that when you find it, you want to hold on to it because it makes you happy and that's, that's it, and that's and that's the thing. When you travel, you want a bag that when you use it, it makes you happy. You're not dreading using it, and that's the journey to finding that one bag, travel bag, or that EDC, or that daily carry, that photography bag, that messenger bag, that packable bag, whatever it may be, and that is why I love doing this. And that has nothing to do with this bag 
I just went off for some reason down a dirt road, I guess. So back onto the pavement. Here we go. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about this bag, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my very best to answer those for you. If there is a product you want me to get my hands on to do a review for so you can know what it's like before you buy it, let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to get my hands on that and do a review on it so you know what you're getting before you buy it. Uh, if you guys could, please like, subscribe if you want more. Add to that number of 200. Let's get to 215. That's the next goal, 215. I don't know what I'm at right now. I know it's over 200. Next goal is 215. Then we'll, we'll celebrate. Um, a lot of things coming this year for this channel, and I'm really excited to announce one here very soon. Cannot wait. But other than that, exactly, 40 to 45 liter travel bag. Get your hands on it. And until then, I will see you next time.